My name is Shanann. If you haven't seen me before, be sure to like this video, subscribe. So, hi. Today we're going to this, like, visual thing. It's, like, right now, it's, like, almost 6. It's, like, 6.44 or, no, 5.44 or something like that. And we're going to this visual thing for the London, Ontario family, the Muslim family that, like, got their son, like, killed through this crazy, like, white person, like, ran him over with a car or something like that. And we're going to the visual to like support this like family. Like at the art gallery, they're having a thing down there, so we're going to be going there. And I'm going to bring you guys. A Sorry, my mouth, um, my mouth kind of hurts right now on this side. It's like swollen because I went to the dentist and got a filling, two fillings done, like on my mouth here. So it's like kind of numb right now. So that's why I might sound funny. part of my vlog okay what are you putting these shoes down for save for the vlog I'm not seeing anything for the vlog okay what are these shoes for hello I I'm not seeing anything for the vlog okay um what are these shoes for you don't know no you don't know why the shoes for uh for indigenous people is that right I believe so. So these shoes are down for like indigenous people, I think, because you're not going to tell me. You don't know, Jeanette? I thought you were talking about it. Oh, it, it, it's for the people so who... No, no, it, it's, it's for the people who died at the residential school. These shoes are here for. That's why all these shoes are here. I figured it out on myself, by myself. Uh, big ones. Yeah, because like, you know, in Kelowna, they discovered this like school, residential school, and they found all these dead bodies here. That's why all these shoes are here. Dead bodies that were murdered by the church uh, that were discovered in this like residential school that was in Kelowna. So that's why all these shoes are out here at this church, at this church here, um, this church in Vancouver. because you have to wear your mask when you're at like, like a visual or any protest and that clip hey, from before that clip from before was just a stop that we made because we, we went to that church and they um was for the Kelowna for the people that they discovered that were dead that were abused and stuff at um 
at, a, at the residential school in Kelowna. That's why all those shoes were there. And oh, I met Kamloops. The whole time I was saying Kelowna, I meant to say Kamloops. Uh, yeah. For the 200 and something people they discovered there. And right now I'm just walking to the protest for the Ontario, London, Ontario family that like, this, this, their son like got, who got murdered by that crazy person who like ran them Your over. Son, family. You know? Other family. I, I meant to say that four people got murdered, not one. Grandmother, mom and dad, 15 year old. Grandmother, 15 year old, and son, yes. they, they all, they, okay, well, they all, you can just look up the story. In London, Ontario, was a family that got killed in, killed there. That's what we're going to a visual for, is for a family that died from the crazy person who ran them over when they were walking on the street, this Muslim family. The only person who survived was a nine-year-old kid, nine-year-old son survived. It was like a family with the, with the grandparents, the parents, and so, and they were walking on the street. Some crazy white person went and it's like drove them over and killed them with a car.
happens. Our governance is the deceased go to the west. The spirit of justice that you create by this. It's important to name systems of oppression. There is power in calling them out. Islamophobia is specific and targeted form of racism. Islamophobia is real and is prevalent in Canada. In 2017, Ikra Khalid put forth motion M103 calling on the government. I pity those who congratulate that tyrant. Hey. To the young man who's not going to woke up today losing his mom and dad, may Allah be pleased with you on the final day. And may Allah be with you on the final day. Because today, subhanAllah, over a hundred people here today are with you. Over a hundred people today are here to tell you that you are not alone, ever. It is our job, our responsibility, our right to take care of the oppressed. Why? Because our beloved messenger did that. It was him, alayhi salatu wassalam, that took care of the orphan. That and I can make my own judgment about them, and that's absolutely right. Hi, now I'm back, and um, we're back from like the protest, and it's I've been home for a few hours right now. I'm trying to like end this video off here, and like right now it is 12.03. I've been home for a few hours, like we got home around like 10, well around like 10 30 or something like, or around that time we got home like 10 30 or something like that. Uh, and uh, that last clip I showed you, I, we, I was at the Korean hot dog place, I'll show you a photo of what a Korean hot dog looks like here, or here, or somewhere on the screen I'll show you what a Korean hot dog looks like. That's the Korean hot dog place I wanted to try, it was my first time trying a Korean hot dog, uh, it was for a family. I, I was like all wrong before but like for a family that got murdered the only person that survived was a, the nine-year-old kid it was a Muslim family and this 20 year old kid he went and he was like wearing this like army suit I believe or something like that and then his truck was like covered in like blood or something his like tank or whatever he was driving and he drove, this people, Muslim family was just walking on the street in London, Ontario, and he ran them over. It was the grandmother, the daughter, and the father. They all got killed. The only one that survived was the, was the son. And he's in hospital right now. That was, that was what the pro, that was the, what the visual was for. It was for that, and there was like speakers and stuff, the Muslim community speaking, and people who like knew the family that like were from London, Ontario. And the first place that we went to, that shoes that I showed you, that was for the Kamloops. The people, the hundred and something found residential school, all those people that were murdered and like were found at that residential school that died there in Kamloops. I was saying Kelowna the whole time. I meant to say Kamloops uh, that were discovered there. Recently they discovered uh, all those dead bodies at that residential school that were probably sexually abused and stuff like that. That is very terrible. That's why they were trying to mem mem like, commemorate what like life went through and honor the people, the indigenous people that died at that school, that's why I, that church, and like my sister, she's like a big protester, and that's why they put all those shoes out there in front of that church to commemorate and memor and memories of the indigenous people that were at that residential school in Kamloops. That is going to be the end of this video, and I'm going to like end it off there. Comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to subscribe and comment down below what you think of this all situation going on like about racism and stuff like going on be sure to uh write something down below and give your thoughts of what you think about the situation and about the stuff that's going on with like racism and stuff like that and like indigenous people and like 
people who think that Muslims are terrorists. Like, that's why the person, he thought that he was, like, laughing, too, when he, like, he was wearing, like, this, like, shirt that, like, the guy was wearing this shirt that's, like, commemorates, like, Hitler, saying that he, like, supports Hitler or something like that. The guy that ran over, he was 20 years old, and he ran over a family, a Muslim family. That was, like, uh, such a hatred. Like, he white hatred there you see that's gonna be the end of my video so so bye <laughs>